All right, everyone, this is the Five Fine SC1, also known as the Ampli-Tank or the Ampli-1. First of all, we have a little manual that comes with it. Now, here's the box. We open it up, comes with this little cushion here. Comes with a USB-C to USB-A cable. Let's open that up real quick. Looks good, looks familiar to you. All right, and we got the USB-A end. So we're gonna get that plugged up in a moment. Very lightweight. And from what I can see, we have one XLR slash TRS combo right here. So that means you can plug up a quarter inch cable or you can plug up an XLR cable for your mic. You have a 48 volts. So that way, if you have anything to require in phantom power, you can do that. You have a switch here that you can switch from microphone to guitar or bass. This switches it to a high Z input. And what that means is that Normally you have some instruments that are really low, like they don't have enough output. So you have to push this button in, which gives it an instant boost. All right, so I can have that switch in. If I'm plugging up a microphone, I can have it out. If I'm plugging in a guitar, I wouldn't advise to use the quarter inch to XLR, but if you had to use that, then definitely go ahead and use it. We also have a headphone output, and then we have a control for that to turn the volume up, okay? very lightweight we also have direct monitoring which is very important because this is going to allow us to hear exactly what's coming in and that way we can this really help with latency issues if you have latency issues in cakewalk uh, this is helpful because then you can directly hear what's coming out of the interface versus relying on a computer all right we have a knob up top sorry i'm trying to get this in focus for you all have a gain one knob up top all right, and we have a gain knob two up top, and then we have the master output, which you can turn all the way up. So both the knobs, all the knobs feel great. Got that five fine logo right there. And in the back, we have a left and right output. And then of course we have our USB-C to hook it up as an interface. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing set up. Now I'm inside Cakewalk by BandLab, the free amazing doll that I use, and I know you love as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go straight and jump straight into it. We're gonna go to preferences. You can press P on your keyboard or you can just go up to edit and preferences and I have it up in front of me right now. So what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that I set this up correctly for this interface. Now, full disclaimer, this interface, as I found out, does not work with ASIO or ACO drivers. So, <laughs> That's a little bummer, but it's okay because we still can use it. So we're going to switch to driver mode to Wasabi shared. So here it is, microphone, five fine, Ampla one. So I'm going to make sure that the input is set for that. And then I'm going to also set the output to speakers, five fine. I could have the output set for my Zoom, but for now, I'm just going to keep it like it is. I'm going to say speakers here and I press apply. Everything is cool. I mean, that's the only thing I needed to adjust. Driver settings are fine playback record and all that stuff and you're going to notice that there is no buffer size that i can adjust okay wasabi does not have buffer size that you can adjust so i know i receive that question sometimes so but it's okay because this particular interface has direct monitoring which is going to be helpful so we're going to see exactly how that works when we're recording later on so I have an audio track set up and i've already got my quarter inch plugged into my five fine i have it going uh, out of my keyboard, my Yamaha keyboard on the side, you know, going the correct way, then you should notice that these will light up. And I'll give you an example here. So if you see a green light, then that indicates that it's, it's right. It's not, it's in a good state. If you happen to see it turn yellow or red, that means you definitely are distorting it. So definitely keep that in mind. When you're setting everything up, make sure you got a good signal and make sure it's not distorted because distortion is the worst thing ever. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and record something in Cakewalk. I have my audio track up here. I've already labeled it and put a little picture on there. And I have my microphone input is set to five fine, ampla microphone, ampla left. Okay, so the left side, which is channel one. All right, and then once you have it set there, you should be good to record. I know I'm getting a signal. When I press record and then I'm saying everything well, good. Everything sounds good. Hopefully it sounds good on your side. Let's go ahead and record just a little chord progression. 
and then we'll see how it sounds when we do the playback. All right, let's play that back and see what it sounds like. Hopefully we hear everything well. All right, sounds pretty clean to me. I don't know about you all. Um, let me know in the comments, how does it sound? And I'm not talking about specifically the keyboard itself or me playing. I'm talking about the quality of it. Does it sound clean? Does it, you know, sound, you know, because sometimes we're worried about when you're dealing with interfaces, worried about ground noise, worried about noise that you may hear in the background of your tracks or anything like that. So if you're having that type of issue, then something's definitely wrong but i think this is pretty clean so far i think i like the unit um what i'm thinking about doing is i don't know who needs an interface but if you if you happen to see this video let me know if you need an interface i'm thinking about giving this one away um i know i mean it's it's brand new for the most part of course i used it one time to make this video but uh I'm thinking about giving this one away and i don't haven't really sent products out to anybody before, but I'm thinking about just giving it away for free uh, to someone that really needs it. I know there was one person who reached out to me a while back about getting an interface. Um, so we'll see the process of that, but I'm thinking about giving away. I have, you know, I live in an apartment and I do not need a million different pieces of gear here. Now, when I move into my um house which i keep talking about that that i believe god's gonna bless us with soon um sometime hopefully this year next year i'm really hoping for this year but when i move into that house then i can start building up gear and having extra stuff but i've got a lot of stuff here already you all a lot of equipment that's in the corner that i just can't you know i can't have set up i got drum sets i can't have set up and i don't really need to add any additional gears it's just laying around so if you need an interface um of course you can buy one <laughs> yourself but i think i'm going to give this one away um so but i, I want to give it to somebody that really really needs it um you know so let me know in the comments like you know like if you really need like i don't have an interface at all i'm just using my laptop and having trouble doing what i want to do and i need an interface uh, then hit me up, hit me up and then we'll work it out. I think this is pretty much it. You all. So thank you. Take care. Enjoy.